Well, Terry Crews decided to go on Twitter once again and create a new acronym. So he took C-O-O-N, a very hateful word, yes, and said that now it stands for conquer our own negativity. That's smart. You think that's smart? It's smart to flip it. Just like Tupac flipped the word nigga. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tupac flipped the, the word the, nigga. The N-word was used as a term of endearment already. Right, but then between he, Between black people. But when he split the word, when he spelled it differently and he said it means something different. N- number one, no one no one ran with that definition that, that Tupac right. put. You but know. we know that he did. Right. So that's enough. Uh, Terry Crews, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> You just not. I t- I tell you no, this. No, great. I'm not Terry, a black, I'm not a black said, person, so I, I really have no say in this, you know. But D.L. Hughley, who I just interviewed yesterday, thought it was disgusting. Terry Crews is a cat who um, is is liked by a lot of uh, uh, Americana, a lot of middle aged white women, a lot of uh, liberal white women love him. And he's like their fucking mascot. And it appeals to him. And the funny thing that Terry Crews was talking about, he's, he actually coined the phrase of black supremacy, which, he, which yeah. he was worried about. Now, before, we just got to the point where black lives matter, where black people were considered human beings. It's a long way before we're supreme. And, and I think that when that's your worry, he seems to always find a way to ask questions or answer questions no one's asking. Um, and, and I think he comes off as disingenuous. Uh, you know, I hope no one wears a shirt that says this on a shirt. <laughs> I really hope so. Conquer our own negative. That was brilliant. It was brilliant to do. Okay. But uh, it was brilliant to do. Terry said some things that were... This is the problem too, man. You remember we did it with Spike uh, when they started making it to the point where everything Spike said they thought was like representation of the black community. And I think a lot of people who are popular or a lot of people who are well-known feel somebody convinces them that they have a platform and they should stand up. Or maybe they should sit down and not do anything like Michael Jordan did. Because you don't always need to talk. And if you got a big platform and you say something and that right there doesn't resonate, you now put a bullseye on you that's already bigger. So I think when when he was speaking, remember, he got involved in the whole Me Too movement, too. Yeah, he was the only male Me Too victim. Right. Because it could have been easier to punch somebody in the face if they grab your nuts. Yeah. You're in your right. Whether that would stop you from getting jobs or not. Yeah. You're in your right. Yeah. And but but I understand him too. I understand why he didn't. Because he realizes, just like MJ did, just like Magic did, that you're in a system that's not built for you. Yeah. I just feel that, you know, I'm not a fan of Terry Crews and some of the things he did. I, I feel Terry like he, he panders, he panders to what I feel is white supremacists but and yeah. racists, but you know, and I honestly think that Well, he was one of the first guys when he came out here as an athlete was talking to me. Yeah. And so I've been with him since the beginning. And I know how hard it is to navigate through this system. Yeah. So well, it's it's just a bad system. I think ultimately what Terry Crews will be remembered for is not what he wants to be remembered for. White girls? The movie? <laughs> white chicks? <laughs> I, I, forgot, I, forgot, white I chicks. forgot that he was in that. 